Hello, and welcome to the Game Dev Quickie. This episode's topic is scene management. The goal is to have multiple game scenes that we can switch between. Let's get right to it. We use this Global's Helper class to access frequently used game properties easily. It also provides a method to create a new render target 2D. The Input Manager checks the keyboard presses. The Sprite class will serve as a base for drawable objects. And the Game Manager to bind everything together and help with testing. OK, let's start coding. We begin by making a character class. It inherits from the Sprite class. We add a movement speed and some basic controls. Let's test the character using the Game Manager. Good. We have our hero. We can start working on the scenes. Let's prepare an abstract base class. Each scene will use a render target. And possess the Game Manager reference. We assign both within the constructor. The scenes will implement four methods. Load to initialize the scene. The usual draw and update methods. And an activate method, called when entering the scene. We call the load method inside the constructor. The get frame method will render one frame of the scene. It sets and clears the render target. Calls the draw and returns the result. OK, let's make our first scene. It will include a background image and a simple sprite. We implement the load method to initialize those images. The scene activation will set our hero's position. We can set up the scene logic inside the update method. In this case, the object will rotate in place. And we also update the character. And finally, we implement the drawing. We draw the background, then the object, and our hero. Let's quickly do a second scene. This one will have a moving object. The loading and activating are similar to the first one. The update method bounces the object back and forth. The drawing is straightforward again. The next thing we do is an enumeration of all our scenes. But more importantly, the scene manager. It stores the current active scene. And a dictionary of all scenes where we utilize the enumeration. Inside the constructor, we instantiate the scenes. Then, select and activate the initial scene. We prepare a switch scene method to change to a selected scene. It will also call the activation of the new scene. The update is calling the active scenes update method. Similarly, the get frame returns the active scenes render target. OK, it is time to test everything and see it in action. We instantiate the scene manager and implement a keyboard handler to switch between the scenes. Lastly, we ask the scene manager for the current frame to draw. And we are ready. We are walking around the first scene. And by pressing the corresponding key, we have entered the second scene. Notice the hero's position change due to the scene activation. Great. That is all for now. I hope you have enjoyed this episode and learned something new. You'll find the code in the description below. Leave a like and subscribe to get all the new content. Is there a topic you'd love to see next? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.